Alright. I'll sit back down for this. I was gonna do it standing, but got my neck. I was gonna pull the card. Uh oh, there's a me. I gotta go. Right here. Alright, I think it's gone. Alright, I try and put this down. There. That might work. Hey, card. Let's ask the oracle. Where am I supposed to land? See if that's the way to do it. Or do I want to pick from? Oh, one just fell out. We'll use that one. Really? Motorola's for Android are awful. Just to let you know. The Magician. Perfect. One. Strange that fell out, no? I don't think it's strange. Let's read about it. Let's take a look in the table there, see what's on the table. Cup, two balls, horns, a box. I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of cup, clay cup. And gold cloth. All of the all of the things in the pictures mean something. The hat, the wand that he has. What was that flash? Six twenty. See that? Hopefully. All right. Let's look up. Magician number one. Look at them all. Seventy-eight of them. King of Wands. Wait, I'm too far. I've already read about this. He's the first guy in the neck. Except, this is a different deck, obviously. I don't know what look I have then, if it's a 58 card or... This is what it says. A youthful figure in the robe of a magician having the content... 
continents of divine Apollo with smile of confidence and sh shining eyes. Above his head is the mysterious sign of the Holy Spirit. The Trinity symbol. Eight. The sign of life, like the endless cord forming the figure eight in a horizontal position. About his waist is a serpent cincture. The horizontal position about his waist. Oh, forming figure eight, horizontal position. About his waist is a serpent creation that there its own tail. That's right there. This familiar this is familiar to most as a conventional symbol of eternity. But here it indicates more, especially the, how did I miss my own? This is why I hate reading out loud. In the musician's right hand is a wand raised towards heaven, while the left hand and pointing to the earth. And then in mine, he's doing it. And then does he have the, he's got a belt there around his waist. Not a tail. This dual sign is known in very high grades of the instituted mysteries. It shoes the derived to things below. The suggestion throughout is therefore the possession and communication of the powers and gifts of the spirit. On the table in front of the magician are the symbols of the four Torah suits signifying the elements of the natural life, fire, earth, water, and air. Water. Uh -huh. The staff is wood. I guess that cup could be fire. I don't know. The box is wood. Water in the cup. I don't know where fire is. which lie like the counters before the adept and he adapts them as he wills. Beneath are roses and lilies, the flows, cappy and litham he wills. There's none in this one. Interesting. So maybe I do have an older day.
Beneath are the roses, uh, beneath are the roses and lilies, close cafe and lilies. Can Valium change into gardens of flowers to shoot culture aspirations? The card signifies the divine motive in man, reflecting God, the will in the liberation of union with that which is above. It also it is also the unity of individual being on all planes, which there are five of. And in every, in a very high sense, it, it is thought and fixation thereof with further reference to what I have called the sign of life and its Christian genotism speaks of rebirth of, in Christ as a change unto the old world. The mystic number is termed Jerusalem and only just fell on me. That luck um, and the land of the Lord according to Martinism 8 is the number of Christ. And if we go to the layout, see where number 8 is, it's on the right. Over here. Look it up. His house. God's house. And everything on land. Because over here on the right it says. Mm, what does it say? Eighth card signifies his house, that is his environment and the tendencies at work therein which have an effect on the matter. For instance, his position in life and the influence of immediate friends and so forth. I'm shaking. Wow. The keys to God and life, guys. I'm reading and studying. Pause it if you want to read that. And the magician is on the front of it. It's who I am. The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad I drew that here. Maybe it's a sign I should get a boat. Maybe I still should. I don't know. Give me a sign. That was weird. A leaf just fell where there's no tree. And I got that on tape. Did you guys see that? 715. Is that my sign? Ha! <laughs> what does a leaf falling symbolize? Winter? Haha. <laughs> have to think about that. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. 
you want a car drawn, see what your judgments are and how to change it, change what's going on in your life. You can choose another card after and that'll take away the, that previous card and complete it depending on if you realize what it means for you. But the next card usually takes it away and changes your destiny. That's how it works. There's ten cards total that you can pull in one layout and then there's a layout of seven that you draw in a row. And that layout that I showed you in the book just now. And there's other, many other layouts. I think there's like over 50 layouts at least. But I have a book of 78. There's only, there's other decks that have like 58. And it's my deck, I believe, goes back to the year 1400. So, rattle that in your brain. I'm going back to the age of Christ, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share.